Hey, how's it going now? Welcome back to the channel and Skyrim. So, if you remember, a few videos ago, we popped in to see Glover Malroy and completed one of his quests called An Axe to Fire, where we met a nice old gentleman called Cressius Corillius, who told us that he's convinced that the remains of his great-grandfather, Gratian Corillius, are at the bottom of the mine, and that the East Empire Company has falsely designated his ancestor's death as an accident. Because he's getting on a bit, he's asked us to go into the mine and check it all out. And this has started the quest, The Final Descent, where we'll have to go into a brilliant barrow underneath Raven Rock Mine, which will take us into Blood Skull Barrow. Okay, we'll find the mine uh, just opposite the smithy in the cliff face here. You already know this, you've, this is obviously where you got the quest from. Yeah, I'm gonna do this as uh, like an assassin archer. I tried loads of things, um, uh, spiders, mayhem spells, and, and all sorts of things, bring my followers in, and it got a bit messy. So for me to actually show you where to, uh, what to do and where to go, it's easier if I do it this way. And to be honest, it is the most effective way. Okay, you come down here, just uh, make sure you don't get back door. We're gonna take out a couple of enemies behind us first one's a little skeever here good night and a big frost spider here good night I will be using um, destruction uh, magic a little bit more for a while. And another one here. Good night. Yeah, good night. Uh, I want to get my uh, destruction up to 60. Because your augmented uh, shock, uh, frost, and flame in chubs. I don't know what the hell that was. I keep on hitting that. Um, yeah, they, they directly affect some enchantments that I want to put on my weapons in the future, so I want to get them up to 60. Not important moment, slowly get there. Anyway, you get to here, just hit it with your sword, hit it with a destruction spell, and that gets you through. And you've got the key. You can't start, you can't actually get through that gate without actually starting the quest, by the way. Okay. Now comes the Drogger territory. In we go. Oh, FYI, these are quite high level Droggers. Um, so be careful. I think they're level 30. So if you're playing, say, at Master or Legendary especially, I wouldn't come in here yeah, well, at least 30, but uh, you could probably add 10 onto that, I imagine, to get through it comfortably. <laughs> yeah, do the work for me. Nice one. Yeah. Oh, empty arrows. That's fine. Empty bow. Num num. Don't care. And just around the corner is a chest here. Just see left there. There you go. Ah, two gold. Okay, onwards and downwards. Yeah, I was saying uh, level 40 is probably about right, um, but level 30 minimum, I'd suggest. It's up to you guys. There you go. Now, only one of these guys is alive. Well, or the drogger version of live anyway, but just check. Make sure. No. Nope. 
Ooh. Good night. Same situation here. Just double check. Yeah. yeah. Click bow mill now. The spider scrolls. Always drop it. Okay, now in this one, you want to come just this far, no further, because you activate all of them. So, if you stay here, you can kill them off one at a time. Imagine all this not coming at you once could be a bit of a handful, so that's the best way to do it. Don't go too far in. Uh... Yeah, why not? Take the gold, always take the gold. <laughs> I really don't need this gold. I don't understand why I keep taking it. Okay, so we've got a chest here. And we're put on our uh, lock picking equipment. Um, if you don't have any lock picking equipment, see a video I did um, earlier on. Uh, shows you exactly how you make it. That is really worth uh, having uh, on board when you come up against uh, master locks. Not this helping you that much now. Not helping me at all. <laughs> oh, nearly, there you go. Oh, nearly. Yeah, the hitbox is so small on uh, a master chef's chest. Okay, I might try that actually. Okay, now be careful of these. These can do quite a lot of damage. And this is where the telekinesis spell can actually be quite handy. I don't use this uh, as much as I should, really. Ah, uh, come on. That's it. Let me get it. Oh, that's annoying. Anyway, it's off the pedestal, so who cares? I don't think it was made to be used in third party, to be fair. Okay, these guys are dead, but just just make sure. I'm using bad arrows, so. Oh yeah, better put my equipment back on.
Oh yeah, if you wonder what my armour is, the scholar stuff, it's a mod I put on which allows you to um, use scholar uh, clothing or armour uh, at whatever level you smith at. So if, you, for example, you've got Daedric smithing skills, you can have scholar armour at Daedric level or leather or steel or whatever. So it just gives you an option for a different look. Good little mod. Because I don't particularly like much of the armour in, in Skyrim, actually. Not much of it looks actually very good. That's my personal opinion. Okay, storeroom deposit. And hopefully you've got your uh, ancient Nordic pickaxe. So we can pick it up. And I do suggest you mine this stuff. Uh, I'll be going through a whole load of things, and the whole point of it is going to get to like end of game weapon and armors, and storing will be a part of that. So, because uh, of the uh, unique effects it has. And loads of goodies in here. Grab all this. Nom nom. Uh, also, one of the benefits of doing this is uh, obviously we're going to get loads of interesting stuff down here. Um, but this is also one of the quests uh, that goes towards getting uh, a free house in Solstein. So, and I'll be doing a video on that uh, within the next few days. Oh, plus loads of cash as well. We get a free house and loads of quite cash. So, stay tuned for that one. We like our houses. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Be careful of these guys. Uh, I tried telekinesis on these. It would not work. Best thing to do is just knock them off with an arrow if you can. Oh, just surprising the amount of damage as well. Oh, you bugger. There you go. Yeah, for some reason, I just couldn't grab him with telekinesis. Soul gems, nom nom. Okay. Right, this is uh, where it gets a little bit interesting. Okay, recharge the uh, bow. Okay, let's take out this guy first. Good night. Okay. Good night. Oh, there you go. Job done. There's one more to take care of. You padding around up there. <laughs> That's all good he's got. In fact, I've just uh, checked um, some of my storage cabinets uh, back at my home and I have got hundreds of weapons. I think I might have to do a, a run around off camera and get rid of them. Far more than I can enchant or, or use. Okay, yeah, so come upstairs, come round here. Open the arrows, nom nom. I'll drop it. 
if I don't need it. Okay, there's one more guy who's always back here. Take him out. See, these guys are tough, you know. Open the arrows. Okay, there's also here a potion of water walking. You might want to grab that. Little chest. And are you there? Yep, yeah, job done. Always good to have that. Okay, uh, what we want to do is pull, push, uh, or activate this handle, and you see just across the way there, uh, the door opens. But before we go through the doorway, we want to come down uh, here. And there's some more stole room behind this door. Now, technically, this is actually a uh, Blood Skull uh, Barrow. Though, even though, like I say, this is a uh, car Barrow, we can't actually get into the Barrow from here. Um, kind of odd, but there you go. This is what we want. Yeah, make it a little bit quicker this time. There you go. <laughs> Job done. And a gold piece. Nom, nom. But the stall room's worth grabbing. And hook her right down here. Okay, spell home ice spike. Nom nom. And just under the stairs down here. I actually to see if uh, I've actually got that spell. Yep, already know it. That's how little I use my uh, my destruction uh, spells. And I have to uh, use them a bit more for a while. Okay, so we've got a chest under the stairs. Again, all these chests are random, guys. Um, you know. Uh, that's a bit rubbish. Yeah. yeah, I'll just take it. I've noticed that when I do my first run through on these, I always seem to get better loot than uh, on my next uh, runs. So hopefully you get better than I've got. Okay, now, it's one of those soul gem traps uh, just ahead. And I'll show you, sometimes you can't knock them off, even with a bow. So, if that's the case, stand up and run and grab them before they can do any damage. Nom nom. Very odd. Um, anyway, uh, just behind that there's a little secret doorway, so activate the chain there. Hidden behind the cobweb, so you might not, you might miss that one, so. And there's a little random chest in here as well. Six gold, and that's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, at well, least got 35 gold there. All frost salts, good. Okay.
Now, watch here, guys. There's uh, quite a few uh, pressure pads. I mean, I've got the perk that so I don't trigger them off. Um, but some of you guys might not have. I mean, there, there are pressure plates all over the place, but here in particular. Yeah, you can see there's one. There's one just at the uh, front of the entrance there. And there's one there. Yay! <laughs> well, they don't bother me. So if you come up here... There's another chest. You can pick up some pretty good loot in here. Uh, some good ingredients as well, so... Uh, you know, come right. Oh, nearly. Bang, six gold, yay. So that's really worth doing. <laughs> I said it's a chest, I didn't say you get much out of it. Okay, onwards and downwards. Okay, this is the point of non-return here, so jump down. Okay, you can't go back from that point. So when you come down, obviously raid the uh, droggers, and to the right here is another chest. There's no enemies around here, so you don't have to worry. Again, random stuff. Okay. Let's see how we get. I'll have that. Nom nom. Oh, lockpick. Good, good. And here we are. His uncle, uh, Gratian Corelius. Uh, now, I won't uh, actually go through the whole of his journal. Uh, you get an option to read it. I suggest reading it. It's really interesting as well. Um, yeah. I'll uh, cut through it. But I have to open it just now. There you go, completely optional. Okay, read that, that tells you a story. It's really interesting. But more importantly, we're up to the first puzzle of the game. Uh, we've also picked up the Blood Skull uh, blade off his grandfather, so equip that. Now, where those red lines are, they run uh, horizontally and vertically. Uh, you have to power attack with the sword equipped. Now what you do, for example, if you want a left power attack, is hold your left movement button while pressing down your attack button. So, for example, on the keyboard, it'd be press the A for moving left, and say your right mouse key at the same time. Obviously, the vertical ones, you just hold down your power attack. So I'm pressing left and moving, and my attack key. So move left and while holding down the attack key. And for the vertical one, just hold down the attack key. Bosh! That's all you do. Doesn't have to be left, it can be right and, and hold down your attack key, uh, whichever way you want to go. Now, this here is why I don't come into a barrel like this with a follower. Uh, and I'll show you why. I've got the ethereal shout so I can just run through them. You guys might want to sort of jig along and go through them, through them piecemeal. I find the ethereal shout much better, for me. These will kill your followers. Make no bones about it. Okay, now you can get your follower to wait. You come down here and you press this lever, which opens up the door and stops the uh, sides there. But as never you run back, it seems to start them off again. Uh, I don't know if it's a bug or, or what it is. So you may have it different, but that's the way it's worked for me. But it's why I don't bring a follower into the barrow. Now we come up to the Dragon Priest. I've got strong archery skills, so I'm going to do a sneak attack on him. So whenever you approach the chest here, he rides from the water. And you know, a couple of shots, job done. If your archery skills aren't as good as mine, um, this can be a tough fight. Make no bones about it. 
Okay, and we've got his mask. Increases shock resistance by 50% and shock spell damage by 25%. It's a good mask to have. I never use masks, but you guys might. Now, I'm going to show you a problem you may have in this world ball and others. And that's where you approach it and nothing happens. Okay. It's obviously working. I don't have this word. Now, I've been told that you can whirlwind sprint into it and that should get you past the uh, crash uh, barrier or collision barrier, sorry. Didn't work for me. Some people have said it works for them. Try that. Uh, especially on consoles, you don't have console commands. So what I'll do now is I'll show you the console commands and obviously that only works for... Um, PC use. As you can see, I haven't actually got the shout here. So, I'll show you how to do it with console commands. Okay, for PC users only, uh, hit your tilde key, which is this key here, if you're not sure. Make sure you've got nothing selected, then quotation marks, TCL, quotation marks, and then hit your tilde key again. Okay, and what this does, it turns off um, uh, collisions in, in the game. So there's obviously something there which is uh, telling the game you haven't reached the word wall. So then approach the word wall. Okay. Get the word. Move away. And then repeat the process. Uh, tilde key, quotation marks, TCL, quotation marks, and the tilde key. Okay, now make sure you quick save before um, you do that, just in case it goes tits up. Okay, so now we've got our lovely shiny new shout, so uh, quickly check out uh, the big chest here. You think after Dragon Priest it'll be full of stuff and two gold. <laughs> well, I, I have to take it, it's just in my nature. Okay, this is what one of the things we really come for. Uh, is a black book. So have a little search around here, usual random stuff. As usual, I hope you get better stuff than I did. But you're bound to get something enchanted here which you can use, sell, or more likely disenchant. Okay, some other stuff around here. Come on, come on, where's the hitbox? Well, oh, bugger. There you go. God, those hitboxes are really awkward. Where are you? Ah, sod it, who cares? Okay, so, one of the things uh, we come here for is this little beauty. Another black book. And it's the winds of change. Now, I'm going to go into Apocrypha uh, now and I'll come straight back out of it. I'll be doing a, a walkthrough on this in a separate video. And if you do come in here, if you don't know already, if you want to come out, you just literally read your book again. Like this. Where's that? Winds change. Read that. And it takes you back out into the barrow. Okay, so now we're at the point of leaving the uh, barrow. Now you think normally there's never a problem. It's not a problem for me, this, because I actually uh, came to this place before um, I did this quest, so I already cleared it out. But now you're in Blood Skull Barrow. You're going to have to fight your way out in two locations. Now these reavers are quite tough, surprisingly tough actually. So be prepared for a fight. Oh, no, no, that book I've read? No, well, I'll take that. Ah, uh, you always got this guy sitting on the chair here, so get a nice sneak attack on him. Oh, right in the head. <laughs> you makes me shot in the head. Call someone's there. 
You gotta love Skyrim. I guess I was just curious. Of course you were. Good night. Okay, there's a few uh, actually stuff, uh, bits and bobs around here. Sorry, worth actually grabbing, in my opinion. Full set of uh, Nordic armor. And for me, some books, nom nom. The Oblivion Crisis. And the Red Book of Rivel Riddles. Rivels? <laughs> Riddles. <laughs> yeah, it's quite dark. You might want to use uh, some kind of mage lighter or candlelight. Firebolt, good, good. Uh, these are good for taking, not using or disenchanting. Actually, 795, that's not bad. But that's a good enchantment if you haven't got it already. Which I do. Uh, I'm over encumbered. What can I drop? I'm not going to drop that. Uh, no, I'm not going to drop that. Same thing with Elk Hide. Dump him. Yeah, yeah, go. Anything else? I've got to get rid of those uh, stones of Baron's Eye. I've got to get that done. Get them out of my inventory. They're getting on my nerves. Okay, so. There's one last uh, bandit guy here. Let's take care of him. Good night. And you find uh, like a few dead bodies of people. Obviously, they've uh, attacked and killed. Uh, he obviously doesn't need that um, gold. Num num. An imperial and a high elf. Hmm. Empire and Thalmor skullduggery. Now, when you come through here, I've already cleaned this out. You meet quite a lot of reavers and bandits here, um, and you may have to fight your way through. And it is a tough fight. Uh, make no bones about it so be prepared for that I'd already cleared this out uh, because I'd wandered along the coast uh, earlier on so obviously this time I didn't have to but you guys if you haven't done that be prepared for a fight okay let's go back and tell dear old Cretius uh, we found out the truth behind his grandfather's death okay fast travel back to Raven Rock And here we are, and just make sure we got the uh, quest highlighted. Yep, yeah, I thought so. Uh, make sure we got that highlighted, and we have landed right next to his house. And we go and see him. You're back. Please tell me what you found. You were right all along. Let me see that. Huh? I knew it. Gratian's death wasn't because of a rock fall. It was just a story to keep people away from the tombs. Now that I have his journal in hand, I can get some closure from the East Empire Company. Make them pay for lying to everyone. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Thank you. I don't think you understand sarcasm. You were little more than a debt of gratitude for all that work you did. Here, it's not much, but it's the best an old retired miner can do. 750, that's completely uh, levelled as well, so you may get a bit less than that. Okay. That's it, job done. We've um, we've got a new shout, we've got uh, a unique item, the Bloodscarl 
a blade, we've got a dragon mask, uh, and we've got a black book. Um, plus we've got the 750 gold from Cressius. Fantastic. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Um, you do want to do this one because it'll tie in with another video I'm doing um, in a few days where we can get a free house and you have to have this quest completed before you can do that. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it guys and later. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please leave a like, leave a comment and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe obviously. Later.